Once upon a time you might have seen me on TV But since deregulation you won't find someone like me So a begging I will go And a begging I will go I used to sell so many records The limit was the sky From Spotify, so a big and I will go, and a big and I will go. There used to be so many gigs, I did them night and day. Now you can rent a venue, but you have to pay to play. So a big and I will go. A beg and I will go They say this is the future and the future is so great do a concert for the internet from here inside this crate and the beg and i will go and the beg and i will go some people don't like begging but i think it's okay Cause if you're tired of begging, you can just take a holiday. So a begging I will go, a begging I will go, a begging I will go, a begging I will go. Most of the people I know who used to make a living as musicians no longer do. This is due to a number of factors, including a massive increase in the cost of housing in most of the cities where many musicians live. But by far the biggest factor has been the rapid decline in revenue from sales of recorded music. I love how easy it is for people around the world to find my music for free on the internet, and I started giving it away many years before YouTube or Spotify existed. But making a living as a touring musician is a marginal way to go for most of us, and gigs alone don't make up for the lack of CD sales. This is why in recent years there's been such a proliferation of crowdfunding platforms such as Kickstarter and Patreon. And this is why in 2013 I started my subscription campaign, or CSA. But instead of giving away vegetables, I'm giving away songs. Many musicians I know won't go this route because they're uncomfortable with it for one reason or another. But as for me, I'd rather beg than get another job. My goal is 1,000 CSA members. Thanks for listening. Hope to see you on the road and in the streets.